continuing on, it's now time to start detailing the weapon, which is a fun process of adding sounds, crosshairs, and all that good stuff. Now, first things first, when we run the game, we have this weird crosshair situation going on, because, you know, the default crosshair, which is this uh, sort of square thing that you see, is spawning, but also since we uh, changed the weapon to equip automatically using the odd weapon to inventory checkbox, the mid crosshair here of the Beretta is also firing and is sort of, you know, conflicting with each other at the same time as you can see. Then if I go to the secondary gun, our M16 does not have any crosshair set up yet, but the default crosshair is showing, so it just gets a little bit weird from there. We can solve that very easily though. Uh, for example, the main camera in our scene has a crosshair attached to it, as you can see here, the Intelli crosshair, as well as the crosshair animator. And then this other game object here has an Intelli crosshair, which is the default one. So all we need to do is check the box off for the default one, which is the sort of square uh, one. And then we go to our uh, M16. And now, um, you know, it says crosshair and nothing is defined. So we just drag the main camera in there, which has the main crosshair. So the default crosshair is this one, and the main camera is this one. So now when we hit run, the default one is turned off by default because we already have a weapon equipped. If I go to my M16, I have a normal crosshair now as well. So that's pretty awesome, but what if I wanted to have a different crosshair for my M16? Well, I could do that pretty easily. Go to the game object here, um, and this is the default one. And then go to edit, and then duplicate. And then it, let's rename this one M16 Crosshair. And then let's go to the M16 and drag the M16 Crosshair here as a definition. Now let's start playing with the settings of the M16 Crosshair in runtime. So let's hit play. As you can see it's turned off now because we have the Beretta selected. And as soon as I hit number two, you can see that it's a clone of the previous default one. And uh, you know, it's not animating that kind of stuff. So let's so let's start tweaking this thing here. I'm going to stop my mouse at, you know, sort of a lighter spot so I can see it a bit easier right there. Okay. So first off, it asks us what the camera is. That one is already set. What the default color is, that one's really set also. We could change that to any color that we want. If we wanted to make it red, we could, but we don't have to. Okay. Then um we want to set if it can change color or not. And that in that case, we do want it because, you know, if there's an enemy, we want it to turn red. Um, then it asks us what the tag for enemy is, which is already defined. Tag for friend is already defined. Um, then the distance of the weapon, also defined very nicely. So now, uh, do we want a border around the crosshair, yes or no? We could turn it on or off. So I'm going to turn it off for now. Then the width of the crosshair, uh, we've changed it to pretty thick. As you can see, you know, it's a little uh, cross thingy here. So you can go pretty crazy with this. It's going to make that a little smaller. Then it asks us what the height is, which is in this case, of course, the thickness. And we can set that pretty easily. Let's see. All right, then we can uh, set the offset of these squares here. So we could turn it around. Let me see if I can come up with the shape that I want here. I actually want a little bit of a nothing in the middle, so let's see if I could do that with the offset. I'm afraid not. Okay, uh, we'll just leave it. It's kind of kind of ugly. Okay, um, let's change. Let's add a center point here and make that one thicker. Perfect. Um, let's change the rotation of these things back to zero. It's a little thick. Something like this would do. And again, you can play with these forever just to see what works for you. They're all vectors, so you don't need to, uh, you know, deal with uh, with pixels or images and all that good stuff. So let's see, now when we fire it, it, it animates because we checked the does animate box. Okay, now when we zoom in, it looks a little weird. 
and I don't like the thickness of it so I'm gonna make the width a little smaller sorry the height let's just tweak the height and the width here then we get our normal crosshair back let's angle that 45 degrees that's what I was looking for cool maybe we do turn the border on again just because the other ones had it and that could keep some consistency excellent center point can now be a bit smaller perfect alright that looks more like that of a machine gun pretty cool exactly what we were trying to do awesome so that's how we can save the crosshair now well, as soon as I stop the game all these settings will be gone so I'm gonna come here and say copy component then I'm gonna stop the game and as you can see everything's reset so I'll come back down here and then say paste component values and now they're all set once again awesome feature by unity okay great so that gives us a crosshair uh, next thing that we're going to look at is um, muzzle flashes so follow me to the next video.